Hey, what's up, Will Hamilton here. And if you're a singles player and you're unhappy with your strategy and specifically your shot selection, a lot of the times you feel like you're hitting the wrong shots, then I wanna invite you to pick up a copy of the new rules of singles. Because inside tennis analytics expert Craig O'Shaughnessy shows you 20 new rules, new strategies proven through his big data analysis to have the highest winning percentage. And what that means is, when you plug these new strategies into your game, you'll immediately start hitting the right shots and you'll win more matches. So what I wanna do right now is take you inside the new rules of singles so that you can see if it's right for you. And the new rule we're gonna check out is the new rule for second serves. Now you can see at the top, we've got the old rule. This is the old school strategy you were taught that's actually inferior. And in this case, it's hitting your second serve at your opponent's backhand. It seems like that would make sense, but it's actually inferior to the new rule down here. And then if I click the play button, the video pops up where Craig explains the new rule. So before we get to this video, let me briefly introduce Craig and explain why the analytics are so important. So take a look at this picture of a basketball court. The little red dots are the top shot locations in the NBA. And on the left, you have the top shot locations from the 2001 and 2002 season. And on the right, you have the top shot locations from just a couple years ago. And what you can see is the game of basketball has completely changed. Today, players basically only shoot layups or three pointers. So why did the game of basketball change so much? Analytics. When the data geeks dug into the numbers, they found that layups and three pointers were worth more than other shots. For example, Let's say you make a two-point layup 60% of the time you shoot it. Two times 0 0.6 equals 1.2 points per shot. Now let's say you make a three-pointer 40% of the time you shoot it. Three times 0 0.4 also equals 1.2 points per shot. But what about a two-point jump shot from 15 feet away that you make 50% of the time? 2 times 0 0.5 equals only one point per shot. That last shot is an inferior shot. And take a look at this picture again. You can see that jumpers from 10 to 15 feet, called mid-range jumpers, have evaporated from the game of basketball in the last two decades. So if you know that mid-range jumpers from 10 to 15 feet are bad shots, well then a strategy to get the players in position to take those shots, that's also a bad strategy. But on the flip side, if we know that layups are good shots and three-pointers are good shots, well then a strategy that gets the team in position to take those shots, that is a good strategy. So these analytics, this math, is why the game of basketball has completely changed. And when Craig looked at basketball, and frankly looked at pretty much every other sport, take baseball for example, with sabermetrics and uh, Moneyball, you might be familiar with that, or at least the movie with Brad Pitt, Craig was saying the same has gotta be true for tennis. There are gotta be some shots that are mathematically superior to other shots. And when Craig dug into the numbers, the results were eye-opening. Craig realized from the pro level, down to the college level, down to the rec level, down to the juniors, players were just taking a ton of bad shots. And just like basketball, if there are places on the court that lead to bad shots, well, we don't wanna be using strategies that set up those bad shots. But if there are places on the court that lead to good shots, well, obviously we wanna be using strategies that put us in position to hit those good shots. And when word got out of Craig's work, he was immediately hired by Novak Djokovic at the beginning of the 2017 season. And then for the next two years, Djokovic won four out of the eight majors he played in. So the results speak for themselves. The analytics give you a huge advantage over the competition whether you're Novak Djokovic playing Rafael Nadal or Roger Federer, or whether it's you at your level, the USTA league and club level. So chances are, right now, you are using a lot of old rules, old school strategies that are setting up bad shots, the equivalent of that mid-range jumper. And inside the new rules of singles, there are 20 of them. So right now, let's check out the old rule for second serves and what you should do instead. So let's get to that video right now. Craig, one of the things that blew my mind was second serve targets because everybody has been taught, okay, it's a second serve, I'm gonna hit this thing 
at my opponent's backhand. The backhand is the weaker side, it's the weaker return. I'm not gonna get hurt. Turns out that is an old rule. We're looking only at second serves now, and Will, the problem is this. When you serve to the opponent's backhand, the natural angle from that backhand is to come back to the server's backhand. And the serve plus one win percentage, starting with the backhand, is only 44%. When we change the target and we serve more to the forehand out wide, it's a surprise, and the ball will typically come back as a natural angle back to the forehand. The win percentages rise dramatically to 56%. So if we look at a one-way trip, we think, yeah, it's good to make the opponent hit a backhand return. But if we look at a two-way trip and put in the percentages, you want to be hitting serve plus one forehands and you want to feed that and certainly the opponent's forehand is certainly the best way to do that. All right, so Craig, let me wrap my head around this, again, because this was like so mind-blowing to me, is uh, the old rule, I'm gonna hit my slower second serve at my opponent's backhand, uh, which makes sense. I don't wanna get hurt, but it turns out that ball's gonna boomerang to my backhand, and I'm gonna lose more points doing that by the numbers than hitting my slower second serve at my opponent's stronger shot, the forehand, knowing that that will boomerang back to my stronger shot, and I'm actually gonna win more points that way. We're looking at natural angles, we're looking at different analytics. So if it's just looking at an opponent's backhand return, you know, we do okay. But it is a far superior analytic when we hit a serve plus one forehand. And when you're going to your opponent's forehand return, from your second serve, you're doing it with slice, you're doing it as somewhat as a disguise, you're doing it sometimes as a surprise. So you think you're going to, you know, get in a lot of trouble over there, sometimes you do, sometimes it's a big forehand return coming back, but the statistics say you are far better off starting the point with a serve plus one forehand than a serve plus one backhand. Craig, real quick, let's diagram the ad court where the uh, the second serves would go to, uh, to, again, take advantage of the new rule versus the old one. Exactly. So most second serves in the ad court go out wide and they boomerang back to a serve plus one backhand and we see the win percentages are 44%. Overall in our sport, we return better out of the ad court and we return better with a backhand return out of the ad court and we obviously return better off a second serve than a, than a first serve. So what we want to do is surprise more, go down the tee, go to the forehand, let that boomerang back down the middle of the court where we start with a serve plus one forehand. We've got a 56% chance of winning that point. Numbers are good, serving to the forehand. Well, here's a great example from the 2019 season. These are numbers from Novak Djokovic. I was on Novak's team. I was doing the research, putting all of the analytics together, and we see here in the juice court, Novak actually served 45% of all second serves out wide of the forehand. And the goal here is to get the opponent off the court, surprise them, because they're not really thinking that ball's going there. But most importantly, it is boomeranging back to Novak's forehand. In the ad court, we've got 47% of all second serves go down the tee, and they swing that way. And once again, that ball, the natural angle, is coming back to Novak's forehand. When we kind of threw the two balls in the air. Should we serve more to the backhand return, which traditionally you think is a good idea, or do we want the ball to come back more to the forehand? The percentages said definitely bring the ball more back to a serve plus one forehand. You are going to win more points. So that's the new rule for second serves, and it's totally counterintuitive, right? Aiming for the forehand instead of the backhand, but the analytics show that is the right play. You're gonna win more points and there are 20 new rules just like this one inside the new rules of singles. Now you might be wondering about the logo because it kind of looks like a pie chart you might see in your stock portfolio and what's with the little green slice and why is the tagline small margins win matches? Well, I wanna share what might be the most important stat to be aware of when it comes to winning more matches. So imagine an opponent right now you are dead even with. This is somebody you play right now, just imagine that person in your head, and it is a 50-50 match. Whenever you play, it kind of goes back and forth, like you win some, you lose some. So what percentage lift do you think you would need for you to not only beat that person comfortably, but be the best player in your league or at your club 
at your level. Because when Craig dug into the numbers, he found that the number one player in the world, whether it's Roger Federer or Serena Williams, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic, they were all winning exactly 55% of the points they were playing throughout the course of the year. It's like the magic number in tennis. And what that means is whether it's the pros, college, USTA, or juniors, you just have to win 55% of the points you're playing to not only beat that person you're currently dead even with, but actually become the best player at your level. You go from 50% to 55%, you win that five extra percent, that's what the little green slice is, and you are the best player at your level. And that's what these 20 new rules will do. We're gonna cut out the old rules, we're gonna replace them with the new rules, and get you that tiny 5% lift, because small margins win matches. Now, if you followed Fuzzy Yellow Balls for a while, you know that when we work with top talent like Craig or Martina Navratilova or the Bryan Brothers, our programs typically run 397 bucks. But what I wanna do for a limited time here on this page is let you get your hands on the new rules of singles for just one payment of 67 bucks. All you gotta do is scroll down this page to check out and you will have instant access to all 20 of the new rules of singles. Now, when you pick up a copy, I'm also including three awesome bonuses. These are additional trainings you get for free, and the first is called Crush Pushers with Analytics. Now, the pusher is like the most annoying type of opponent to play because they run everything down, they just moonball it back deep. Uh, it's really, really difficult to play offense, and what typically happens is you go for a lot early in the match, but then errors start to creep in, so you back off your shots, and by the end of the match, you're actually moonballing, you're actually pushing with the pusher, which is, of course, exactly uh, where they want you, right? And then you end up losing a relatively close match, and you're super frustrated on the drive home, and you say, ah, I gotta quit tennis, I hate this sport. Clearly, you can see I've been there. But what if we could use big data to figure out how to beat pushers once and for all? Well, we can, because Craig has dug into the numbers, and Craig has four phases of the game, serving, returning, rallying, and approaching, and for each one of these, he shows you the strategies that are backed by data, the ones that are gonna allow you to beat the pusher once and for all. Now, you can see there's a little red box around serving here, because if I hit the play button, then the serving video pops up, but if I close out of this and then swipe over, the box is now, the red box is now returning. If I click play, you're gonna get the returning video. And then if I close out of that, then, and keep swiping, you get rallying. Then if I keep swiping, you get approaching. So that's how this bonus works. There's the four phases of the game. Craig's gonna show you the analytic back strategies for beating a pusher in each one of these phases. This bonus, sold separately, would be 97 bucks, but I'm giving it to you for free when you pick up a copy of the new rules of singles. So the next bonus is big point strategy. Now, most players, when they play a big point, they rely on their gut. But Craig, he relies on the data. And we've got four big points that we're gonna focus on. The first one is how do you save break points, and you can see there's the red box around it, it works the exact same way. Then we're gonna show you how to convert break points, this is how you break your opponent's serve. Then we're gonna show you tiebreakers, and this one in particular uh, is really interesting because Craig was a part of one of the most consequential tiebreakers, actually a series of tiebreakers in tennis history because Craig was coaching Novak Djokovic in the 2018 Wimbledon final against Roger Federer. And if you remember that match, it was a five set match and Djokovic had to win three tiebreakers to win the championship. And frankly, Djokovic got outplayed the entire match except for the tiebreakers because before the match, Craig and Novak sat down and they were like, okay, we're probably gonna have to play some tiebreakers. So Craig gave Novak a lockdown tiebreaker strategy. All of it was based on the data, and obviously that was the difference in the match. So if you're a Fed fan, you're not gonna like this particular video, uh, and look, I feel your pain, I'm a Fed fan, and I was part of this video, it was very uncomfortable, but the strategy that uh, 
that comes out of it, you absolutely want to employ this in your game. And then finally, we've got this last icon here. It says game, set, match. This is how do you close out a lead because a lot of the times you might get up a break in the third set. I certainly know I've been up a break in the third set and then uh, that break evaporates and I end up losing. So this is all about how do you actually close out that lead. This bonus sold separately would be 97 bucks, but I'm giving it to you for free when you pick up a copy of the new rules of singles. So if big data can help us crush pushers and big data can help us with our big point strategy, can big data help us practice? Well, yes, it can because that is our third bonus. It's called the practice court is broken. And this is Craig saying, because certainly at the USTA league and club level, when folks practice, they are doing drills that reinforce the old rules that set up inferior shots. Like when you practice breaking down someone's backhand in a long rally, that is inferior. So Craig is gonna fix your practice court with a series of drills. The first is serve plus one. The second is serve plus one approach. The third, serve and volley. The fourth is one called uh, the two racket length drill. This is for working on your second serve. Then we've got a serve and return only drill. This one's kind of weird, but it's, uh, it's super effective. We've got a backhand return approach drill over here. And then we've got one called the perfect point. And when you replace your old practice plan with this practice plan, when you stop practicing the old rules and you start practicing the new rules, you're gonna go from winning 50% of the points you play to 55% of the points you play, and you're gonna become the best player at your league or in your club. Normally, this practice plan is 97 bucks when you buy it separately, but you get it for free as a bonus when you pick up a copy of the new rules of singles here on this page. So all you gotta do to get this whole package is scroll down this page and click checkout. And remember, you are getting the new rules of singles, which is a $397 value. And you are getting crush pushers with analytics, a $97 value. You're getting big point strategy, a $97 value. And you're getting the practice court is broken, also a $97 value. When you add all that up, it comes out to a value of 688 bucks, but you can get all of this analytically backed training for just one payment of $67 here on this page. Oh, and if you're wondering, you are protected by my 365 day, no questions asked money back guarantee, which means you can take all 20 of the new rules of singles for a whirl for the next year. You can take all the bonuses for a whirl. And at the end of 365 days, if you're like, well, you know, just this wasn't really my thing, no worries. I will give you every single penny back. I'll give you a complete refund. So that's the deal. And look, if you believe in the power of analytics in sports, I think you're gonna be thrilled by the impact these new rules have on your game. This is uh, uh, brand spanking new. Um, it's one of the coolest products we have ever created. And you can get it all for just one payment of 67 bucks. And again, it's completely risk-free for the next year. So just scroll down this page uh, and click checkout and you will have access to absolutely everything just a few short minutes from right now.